What's up guys, Rendush here. Today we have a very simple video for you is uh, about that. You know that I use a lot of bricks for a melt dirty metals and uh, dirty slugs and of course silver gold. It's very hard, it's difficult to melt uh, platinum in the bricks because uh, over two and a half thousand degrees, three thousand degrees, brick start to melt, but uh, it's possible I use that. So these bricks, it's already do purpose and uh, I melt a lot of metals in there. So you see that, if you see that, I have a very, very dirty slugs from Borex and uh, a lot of hole, holes because the bricks start to melt when you took the flame too long and uh, if you see that you can't see but I can see like here see that right over my finger see that too I have opa yeah see that right there I have even a little gold gold little bead like here see that and I have some silver there stuck in the brick this is just small amount but I don't want to waste anything and if you see that a lot of dirty borax so probably a lot a micro beads are stuck in all that borax and now in this short video I'm gonna show you how actually to collect all that back okay let's start you guys so what we do today it's actually this bricks already done with the purpose so right now what I'm gonna do I just take the hammer and with the small hits with the small hits I just crack the one one layer of this brick with the borax, okay? Just easy, you don't want to fly everything away. And just see that? I remove all the layer, one part, and I'm gonna remove now the rest. Okay, see that? I remove all the layer with the borax and the stuck metal. Okay guys, so I peel off the important part, the place in the hole and uh, the place where I melt this metal. So this is our material to process and uh, right now I will collect that dust, you see that? And uh, I green that and then I will put that in uh, this plastic pan and I will pan this like I 
searching for gold in the river the same okay let's start to win that So after I wash that, you can see, see that, I remove most part of these bricks and uh, if you see there, I got very solid amount of silver, gold, palladium and platinum beads. I even got one MLTT is here, you see that, I'm gonna try one experiment. And uh, right now, I will collect all this in the beaker. I will add HCL. HCL will eat all the dirtiness, and uh, I will stay with my uh, dust and little beads. I have one bigger beads here. Looks like silver. I will check that in the end. Okay. Okay guys, after I pan that and uh, residue I put in beaker, add HCL and put it on heat, leave that for a half hour and of course once again I clean that and this is the residue which I have, see that, about maybe almost one gram, about one gram and this is a mix of much different metals, so here I got Mostly it's silver, but I have gold, I have platinum, I have palladium. Somebody of you will probably said that I that this is a big loss in a brick, but it's actually not. I use that bricks over a year, a lot, a lot of time, and just one bead, microscopic bead by bead, and I have this amount, so it's not a problem with that because on the end I recover all my metal you see that and if you see very good very good 
I got mostly a silver color because I boiled that in the HCL but when I process that with the nitric acid I will probably have a lot of gold beads special this on this side here the small one and I'm sure that this bigger one here it's actually strange shape it's actually a platinum and probably I have all the four metal there okay okay this is just a nice short fun video to I show you how I collect my metal from my brick after I done with them okay so run guys for in the channel. Cheers.